Hello, my name is Gareth Evans. Some of you guys noticed that in my previous video I was using Alaska finger picks. And there was a lot of questions in the comments about what they were, how long it took me to get used to playing them, and are they better than my fingernails for playing. So I wanted to make this review video to answer your questions. Do bear in mind that I am no way affiliated with Alaska picks. I'm not getting paid to make this video, so this is 100% my opinion and my opinion only. So enjoy the video. So these are plastic picks come in four different sizes. You get small, medium, large, and extra large. And when I ordered mine, I picked up a set of medium, large, and extra large just in case. And I have to say that the large size, the ones with number three on them, fit me the best. That said, I do have pretty large hands and so the product size and feels pretty spot on. They do feel a bit bulky and unnatural at first, especially if you're not used to playing with any sort of picks. They fit underneath your fingernails, so you do have to keep a little bit of natural nail there for them to work properly. You can trim them down to whatever shape you like using the regular nail clippers and file, which help with the feeling of bulkiness. I have used them on all my fingers, including my little finger, and I guess some people might choose to use them on their thumb, but I found that very weird. I honestly think you're better off with a dedicated thumb pick or just growing a little bit of nail on the side of your thumb like I do. At first, I felt I always wanted to push them back onto my fingers like they were slipping off, especially when I'm bending my fingers or clenching my hand. However, you do get used to this feeling and I was able to help this a little bit by rolling them small and making them tighter before using them. However, you do want to be careful not to cut off the blood circulation to your fingertips when wearing them too tight but this definitely helped me get that feeling of security while playing. As for replacing the tone of your natural fingernails, I think these picks do a great job. They sound great, they make your guitar sound bright and loud, and once you're used to them, I honestly think you get a more pronounced and consistent sound than fingernails. What's unique for me about Alaska picks is that they allow you to pluck upwards and strum downwards, Using percussion like I do hasn't been an issue so far. I actually feel like they help my plucking while using the wrist thumb technique. You can also still play harmonics to an extent and can probably get away with some basic tapping if you needed to. So with all that said, this makes them very versatile for a finger pick. They don't restrict you too much at all and almost ideal for playing fingerstyle guitar the way that I do. As I mentioned earlier though, the only issue I have is that they do tend to slip a little when I'm bending my fingers. So there you have it, that was my review of Alaska Picks. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. So until next time, bye for now. Hello everybody, welcome to a uh, Gaz Vlog update. Now, I decided to make this video to let you guys know what... Okay, I'm gonna get this dude. Oh! You gotta love those sniper skills. I mean, come on.